in Iceland, there is a potential major disaster which could occur as it appears that another volcanic eruption might be imminent. I say this after weeks of hesitation to use the word imminent, but it now sadly appears that a volcanic eruption in the short term is more likely than not, as the overall situation rapidly changed during the last 48 hours. In this time, if an eruption did occur, significant infrastructure and property could be placed at risk of complete destruction, most notably the Blue Lagoon and the Associates for Tsingi Geothermal Power Plant, but also the scenic coastal town of Grindavik. As a result of this, not only has the Blue Lagoon been temporarily closed off to all visitors, but a frantic effort is also underway to rapidly build a lengthy 8 meter or 26 foot high dirt wall in an attempt to block any lava flows which might occur from reaching the plant, with the placement of this barrier projected to occur at the location shown on screen. Because of this construction and road damage caused by recent earthquakes, Iceland Roads 43 and 426 are completely closed off, and the alert level of the associated Reckoners volcano was raised from yellow to orange. Additionally, to the east of the Fagradolsviak volcano, smoke was seen on a web camera rising from the ground. However, this is probably not caused by the ongoing intrusion, but rather a fragment of subsiding and still cooling lava from the July to August 2023 eruption, fracturing and generating a small grass or moss fire. All magma had previously been pooling at a location 3.5 kilometers north-northwest of the 2,800-person town of Greenovic since October 23rd. It had seemingly stalled at 5 kilometers depth, not advancing any further upwards, and merely building in volume at depth for two weeks straight. Then, on November 9th, an unusually strong earthquake storm occurred, and throughout the day, these quakes progressively migrated 3,500 meters to the northeast before ending up at their current location at 8 p.m. local time on the same day. Ever since then, magma has reportedly been progressing upwards, with earthquakes now occurring along a straight sill with a southwest to northeast orientation. This magma could now reach the surface in as little as a few hours or as much as a week. Because of this, evacuations of the entirety of the town of Greenovic was ordered on November 10th, meaning thousands of people are evacuating. Additionally, a state of emergency was declared. I have modeled where the lava from such an eruption, if it were to occur, might flow, assuming that the dirt wall barrier is quickly and successfully constructed. With this, I found that lava could potentially flow into two areas. The dominant lobe in any situation is most likely to flow towards the north, northwest, and then west, as the ground goes downhill in that direction, meaning it will almost certainly go towards the geothermal power plant. If the dirt wall holds, it will then likely hug the wall while flowing towards the south. The less dominant lobe, which in my opinion is more concerning, would probably only be generated if a hypothetical eruption fissure extends to almost the southernmost extent of the current zone of earthquakes. If this were to occur, a lobe of lava would likely be directed towards a gap in the topography and then flow southwards, sending it into the direction of north-central Grindavik. However, such a catastrophe could be blocked if a dirt wall was placed at a location I am showing on screen. While we do not know the true odds that a volcanic eruption will occur, take this with a huge grain of salt, but if I had to throw out a guess, I would estimate a 75% chance of an eruption occurring in the next two weeks. Assuming the underlying magma does not shift more horizontally, it is located underneath a crater row which produced a mildly explosive eruption reading either as a VEA-1 or VEA-2 in 410 BCE. Thus, while the potential upcoming eruption could be completely effusive like the last three eruptions of Fygridolsviak, it could also present new hazards such as lava bombs which could travel up to a kilometer in the air, minor ash emissions, and even minor explosive activity involving strombolian explosions. Please stay safe, everyone. I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.